Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. I'm Megan. <laughs> I'm Hunter. I'm Daniel. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Hey everybody, it's so nice to see ya. We just got finished setting up the farm market and now we're down around back. We've got our morning chores to take care of. Not much changes when it comes to morning chores, but we're gonna get started on the chickens. having the cardboard over their hand or something so that they can't get pecked. I mean, I've been pecked like hundreds of times and it doesn't hurt. Yeah. If we were collecting eggs and the chickens were angry, then I think this would be a problem, but the chickens are kind of nice. Chickens are fed, eggs are collected. Now we're not getting silage for the cows yet because we're gonna actually be opening up the new bag. Well, we think we're gonna be opening up the new bag. We're waiting for dad to get home till we decide what we're gonna do. Matthew is just bedding up the chickens over there and now he's gonna work on bedding up calves. We do need some feed for those chickens in that pen. I forgot to grab it, so I'm gonna run over and grab a bucket. Now this is just a little thing that you pick up on, but you can see the grain that is dumped. There is some molasses sweet feed that is store bought in the middle, and you can see the calves aren't even touching it. They're touching the stuff that we ground ourselves. So if that isn't a telltale sign that this is good feed, then I don't know what is. And it kind of helps us to appreciate that what we're doing is a good thing, because if they weren't eating the feed that we ground, then something would be wrong. Who's making all this noise out here? Go, oh, let's go, there's work to be done. We just got the calves fed, now we have to feed the outside cows, but we need silage for them, which is what we're going to do right now. I'm actually gonna open up the bag. trying to do with that dirt being here is we're trying to seal up the end uh, because we don't want any oxygen getting in because that will spoil our silage. really happy with what we see here. Now it is very, very, very common for the beginning of the bag to always have some spoilage because it's the least packed area. It, this would be the easiest spot for oxygen to get to the silage. We must have done a good job of closing up our edge because this stuff looks and ooh, it smells good too. That's really, really good. Well, we are very happy to see this. Now the way I cut the plastic here is so that we could pull it back over this because it is going to rain tomorrow and we don't want all that rain on our silage so i'm just gonna pull that over like that and we're good oh that's a good girl that's a girl go go yeah i don't know about you guys but i'm really happy about that all those hours put into making silage and it wasn't for nothing that's what we like to see well everyone i think they enjoy it we haven't even put any grain in yet and they're munching like crazy. It's funny when you're lifting up the bed on that truck and the sawdust doesn't seem once to fall out, 
That means we packed it in there really good. I don't have time to play today. I don't have time to play. This is some old bread that was from uh, a local food pantry. They couldn't use it. So they brought it to us. We give it to the cows. We used to feed, we have a big break, uh, bakery next to us that uh, makes a lot of bread. And we used to get the scrap bread, the old bread from that. And we'd feed it to the cows. Cows love bread. While Daniel and I have been working over there with the cows, dad was bagging up some potatoes. He has four, five, six bags of 50 pounders of white filled up for the farm market. Not only did dad get white potatoes bagged up, he also got two 50s of red bagged up. Daniel and I have basically spent like our whole morning down here bedding up cows, moving stuff around, putting hay in. I enjoy days like this where we're just working around the farm. It's a lot of fun. Uh, when I was growing up, we didn't have too many animals, but now that we're older, we seem to have quite a few and I find it a lot of fun. We're in a little bit of a predicament right now and we're having a discussion down here. Myself, Daniel, and dad we're trying to figure out uh, where we're gonna put more feeder cattle. So we're running into the problem. We don't have enough cattle to supply what we need in the farm market. We have a lot of orders coming in. So we need more cows, um, but where do we put them? So our thought is we're gonna take our chickens out of the chicken pen and we're gonna put them out here and then we're gonna allow the cattle to go back in there because all we have to do is take off the one wall that we have. If we move the chickens out here, all we have to do is move their nests we have an automatic water bowl. We have feeders for them. This is the part they don't really tell you about with farmers, uh, all the brainstorming that goes into what we're doing. Uh, because every action you make affects something else. And if you're trying to make something more convenient, then you might make another job more difficult. So that's why it's really important to think over all of these jobs that we're doing, just to make sure that it won't affect us in a negative way later on. We're doing right now is moving our feeder stands over to another section because we've decided that we're going to give our chickens a lot more room we're not going to need to access this doorway over here it might make it a little inconvenient when we're traveling through but we're going to have this whole section closed off because that door won't be needed because we won't be going in there to collect eggs we'll be able to collect the eggs out here so we're going to have that all closed off and bring our pens out to these poles. Like I said, there's a lot more going into this than just moving stuff around. I, I, I got the center. All right, Andrew's side needs to go towards the wall. Andrew's side needs to go towards the wall. We've moved our feeder stands from over there to over here now. So we should still be able to pull in with the skid steer loader and set our bins on top.
So now that we've got uh, kind of an idea of what we're doing, we think this is gonna go a little smoother. It just hit lunchtime, so we're gonna head up to the farm market and eat now. Grammy, what are we having for lunch today? Burgers. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, burgers. Ooh, check it out. Hi, baby. How's my little girl? She's down to work today. Check it out. Oh yeah, looking cute. Just got done eating lunch and I am now satisfied. It was a really good lunch. Those burgers were good. But now we are back down here. We're gonna try and get this pen finished. Be a door. And then I think we'll shoot right over to here. And then that way it leaves the doorway open, just in case. Yeah, I like, I like leaving that doorway open. That's a better idea. Now we were using these for the temporary meat chicken pen over there and we had them all tied together with string. But these pens that we have came with brackets that we can use to put them on. So we're actually gonna hook the brackets up through here. So our biggest concern that we had was the birds flying out, but I think we've got it to a point where they won't be able to fly out. They're gonna have plenty of light. They're gonna be protected from the wind. It's looking pretty good in here. All we need to do yet is put something over here uh, so that we can secure the nest and then some bedding, and then we'll be good to go. We just got all of our nests put up and into place. We're just making sure we have straw in each one of them so that there's gonna be enough straw so that the eggs will stay nice and clean. This is my friend Hunter. He grew up on a pig farm and he's here because his girlfriend's parents watch the videos. So he just wants them to know that he's a veggie boy too. Woo! They're a little bit nervous. They're not usually out of their pen, so. Takes them a little bit longer to move over here, but that's okay, we'll be patient with them. Well, it has not looked like this in here in a very, very long time. Now, when we built this chicken pen, we made it so that this wall could come off very easily, and that's how we'd clean it. So now all we gotta do is pull the wall off, and then the cows can go in. All we had to do with that wall was take out two screws and then lift up the wall with the skid steer loader and it was easy. Now that we've done that, we have all of this area that has been opened up. Now the only thing I've seen is they are very, very excitable right now because of all this opened up area. So we're gonna feed cows for the night. We just got finished feeding cows. The calves are all taken care of. So everything down around back is finished for the night. We got a lot accomplished today. This was a big job getting this cleaned out and opened up. So I'm happy we got that taken care of. And that was the last pallet that we had out here in the farm market. Now everything's put away. Well, would you look at that? Nothing on the table. That means it's date night. Tonight we're getting from a local place called The Forge. It's pretty good. I'm getting a burger. Uh, so yeah, but anyways, this is where we're gonna end the video. I would like to thank I would like to thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time Bye bye